Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, April the 7th, 2021, and this is episode 3518. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Recharge. Stay tuned. So, for those of you who do not know, there's a little side gig that I have doing Uber and Lyft drives in uh, in the city of Lynchburg, Virginia, where I live, and have had some really amazing conversations and opportunities to share encouragement and and be a blessing to others. One of the things that I like to do is to keep my car clean, and uh, so I used to have a uh, a little car vacuum with uh, it had a 12 volt plug in and. It was a long cord that could get tangled up sometimes, and I just decided, you know what? I'm going to get a rechargeable vacuum cleaner for my car, and it arrived last night. Now, what do you got to do when you get one? I plugged it in all night long, let it recharge, and it's, uh, it's working fine this morning. It's all ready to go. It's the same thing in our spiritual lives. We need to make sure that we are constantly recharging our faith so that we can be usable for God and the moments that we're needed. Now, I used to travel a lot, and uh, I would take my laptop. Uh, Sometimes I would go to a coffee shop and work for a couple of hours, but often I'd have to work off the battery. So whenever I have the opportunity, I'd plug it into the nearest electrical outlet. And the reason why is because the battery runs down. It needs a charge. I mean, just think about it. In this modern age of electronic emphasis and technological advance, we've grown somewhat dependent on our gadgets and appliances, right? Anyone who has had the misfortune of going without a phone or temporarily losing power can understand the frustrated feeling of detachment that comes with not being able to instantly access the usual context and keep up with friends. We might take this for granted, but upon closer examination, it really serves as a decent illustration of our lives as ministry workers and as believers. We come to church and get plugged in spiritually. Then we try to run off that energy all week long. We don't realize we need the power of Christ at all times, in every situation, every conversation, every circumstance. In other words, we need a constant power source. We need to be plugged in all the time. In Psalm 63, David was praying and he said, Lord, I want to walk with you all the time. Yes, I have seen your glory in the sanctuary, but I want that all week long. I can't help but think about the prophet Elijah who became physically, emotionally, spiritually depleted in his warfare with the enemies of God. And an angel of the Lord found him curled up under a bush in a desert wanting to die. The angel provided him with some bread, let him rest, and then woke him up for another heavenly meal. The angel said, arise and eat because the journey is too great for you. Well, you and I, we become run down. We become spiritually depleted. And God has a wonderful meal waiting for us every day in his word, served up by the Holy Spirit himself. Elijah needed to plug in, and so do we. We need to make time for God and his word in our day. Sometimes that means just grabbing it where we can, read some scripture verses when you get up in the morning, listen to some worship or a Bible study on your way to work or school. Take the moments where you can find them to plug in. Stay tapped into all that God has for you. And recharge. Father, thank you so much. The technology that we have is amazing. It's incredible. The opportunities it gives us to minister, even in a podcast like this. People will be listening to it, most of them on their phone. Help us, Lord, to stay plugged into you, to be recharging 
all the time so that we might have the power and the energy to serve you and others the way you've called us to. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.